Yes, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you back on board. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for always being there. I'd like to uh, suggest that you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new update. And if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, I want to welcome you on board and I want to appreciate you. Thank you for coming around. I'd like to encourage you to uh, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new update. Thank you and welcome on board. Popular Nollywood actor speaks on Nam de Canos in the, on the agitation of Biafra. Popular Nollywood actor Chiwe Talagu has described Nam de Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, as a good leader who does not have the necessary wisdom to lead the agitation for Biafra. Reports have it that the veteran Nollywood actor stated this on Friday, February 28, when he was interviewed on BBC News Igbo. BBC News Igbo paid him a visit at his residence in Enugu. The ace actor, during his exclusive interview, noted that the IPOP leader, Kano, is passionate about Biafra, but is, however, still being majorly influenced by what he described as youthful exuberance. Chiwet Lago advised Kano to apply wisdom and be more pragmatic in his agitation if he must succeed. He also cautioned the IPOP leader, Kano, on his vile approach towards dignified Igbo leaders such as the President General of the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohanese, Chief Enlea Mwodo, and many others. Meanwhile, the actor also gave the, an insight into his personal life. He revealed that he is happily married with five children. Chiwetelago said he married from Mbese, Imo State, and he gave his wife's name as Inkechi. The iconic movie maker has three sons, Izuchuku, Chukwemeka, and Tochuku, and two girls who are twin, Chidema and Chidebere. Two of his sons, Izuchuku and Chukwemeka, are already in the university. When asked if he has many, any ambition to delve into other ventures, such as music or politics, he said, Music is what he would love to do after movies, given that it is still in the entertainment industry, while stating that he used to nurse the ambition to go into politics, but not anymore. All right, guys, um, you've heard what um, Chiwetelago has come out to say concerning Nam De Kano. Chiwetelago says that Nam De Kano, you know, is a good leader, but he lacks the necessary wisdom. So what exactly does Chiwet Lago mean? Or what can we say exactly is uh, Chiwet Lago is trying to imply? What are the necessary wisdoms that uh, wisdom that uh, Nam Kano lacks? Well, he did not make any um, categorically um, clear or po pointing to have any exact um, scenario while saying this. But the, what he, I think he's trying to explain is that there are some decisions or steps that Nandikano is taking that probably he shouldn't be taking or he shouldn't take or he should have made consultations. He also um, stated that Nandikano need, uh, needs to consult elders and more people in the Ego land than he's actually doing. So it means that now the canon needs to get more people involved, you know, probably than he actually is doing. Because meaning that he cannot do things alone by himself. So he needs to carry more people alone, uh, along. And um, I think what Chiwo Talago uh, also is trying to imply is that he should, uh, the way he attacks some Igbo leaders, 
uh, does not sit down well with him and many others, you know, that uh, he probably shouldn't, you know, be calling out Hebrew leaders and uh, he should try and uh, carry them along, reach out to them and, you know, uh, respect them and uh, give honor to whom honor is due. I want to uh, believe that is what she was allowed to see. He described Nandekano as a good man. Well, everybody knows Nandekano is a young guy, uh, not too young though, but he's still a youth and um, he, he is knowledgeable, educated, pragmatic, you know, um, visionary. We have to give it to Nandekano. Nandekano is thoughtful in what he does. So the only challenge um, here with what I believe uh, Chewetelago is trying to express Chewetelago is trying to express is that um, so for Nambekano to have come this far you know one definitely has to give it to him that um, he knows his own use and he knows what he's doing uh, probably no man uh, is an idol and no man you know he's uh, is, a, is an island as it is he probably might be taking some steps and actions that um, does not go down well with some people, but it doesn't mean that um, he lacks wisdom. I think he's uh, on the right track and he's doing things, some things that, you know, um, he feels that that's the way they should go. But probably if um, Chichon Wetelago thinks that um, he could do better, then um, I think he should find a way to channel his um, advice to him so that uh, uh, they can inculcate all these ideas and uh, achieve much more than what has been achieved on the agitation of Biafra. One may think that Chenwe Talago has taken a dig on the leader of the IPOP following this recent revelation about Nandekano. Well, it is something that may have shaken the internet, but some have also perceived his thoughts as a knowledgeable one. The veteran Nollywood actor, you know, is an elder statesman when it comes to the affairs of the Igbos, and um, I think should be taken serious, or his words should be listened to. Well, now the reasons for this isn't far-fetched. The leader seems to be taking solo decisions without consultations. Chinwetalago said, in my last article, I wrote about the mystics that killed and will continue to kill Biafra. It isn't a logical finding that one who acts alone makes horrible mystics. Although Nambikano has taken bold steps worthy of mention, it is pertinent to remember that too much of everything isn't good. It may lead to violence, segregation, and brutality. I made it clear in my last article concerning the frustration aggression tendencies. It is a safe landing to say that the veteran actor who already appreciated Kano has a point concerning his excessive acts. So now what are the excessive acts that um, Chimwetelago is suggesting that Nabde Kano has taken or is taking? And um, when he says he's taking, to, he's taking solo decisions without consultations, well, how, what are the setups, you know, in Igbo land, and um, how, how is it supposed to have consulted, and who are those who are to be consulted? These are questions that need to be answered. Who are those that need to be consulted? How many people among the Igbo leaders, you know, have come out to stand by Nam the Kano? How many of these guys have also actually come out to publicly, you know, defend Nam the Kano and say, we need Biafra. As it is, a lot of them are actually um, hiding behind uh, their, you know, titles and what have you, so as the government will not come and pick them up. But Namdekan was brave enough to stand his ground and say that he is speaking for Biafra and agitating for Biafra, regardless of whose ox is God and regardless of what trial, trial he may face. Don't forget that these are the, some of the challenges he has faced that led to the death of his parents, that led to himself almost losing his life. 
Eventually, he had to escape and leave the country, despite being in trial in court. So these are some of the challenges that, uh, you know, he has faced. But, well, um, I just have opinions and uh, views. I cannot categorically say and authoritatively say things. But, well, these are my views and my thoughts. I would like to hear from you what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Kindly drop out the conversation. Let us know what your thoughts are. Thank you, guys. Welcome on board, and I'll see you on the other news. Have a wonderful time.